Dear students, welcome to the classroom. Today we are going to learn the new lesson of Introduction to Computers, Standard 8, lesson number 2, Working with Windows. First of all, we will learn about operating system. Dear students, an operating system is a series of programs that is used to operate a computer. A computer processes data according to programs to give the output. To process any data, a computer needs hardware and software. And to actually run a computer, you need an operating system. On the receiving data from the input devices, the CPU sends it to memory. The CPU then obtains data from memory and processes it to obtain the output. The output is again sent to memory for storage. The CPU then gives the necessary instruction to send the information from memory to output devices or storage devices. Dear students, the CPU controls the entire working of the computer. But how does the CPU know what is to be done, when it is to be done, how it is to be done? Well, there are special programs that help the CPU to perform its functions. A series of such programs that are used to operate a computer is called an operating system. An operating system allows the computer to do all the tasks that you want it to do. It controls the processes that store and retrieve data from memory of the computer. In short, an operating system organizes and controls a computer. Now we will see the user interface. Dear students, the hardware and software systems that allows a computer user to communicate with computer is called user interface. There are two types of user interface, command line interface and graphical user interface. Command line interface. Dear students, in command line interface, the user has to type in text-based commands to give instructions to the computer. These are some predefined set of commands that specify the operations that are to be performed in order to get the desired output. Command line interface is not user friendly as the user has to remember not only all the commands but also the rules of those commands. If there is a typing mistake, DOS does not recognize the command and hence it will not carry out the task that is told to be performed. Graphical User Interface Dear students, today most of the computers have a graphical user interface. It is a system that uses on screen pictures or graphic which can be clicked on with a mouse to give instructions to the computer. This means that in graphical user interface you do not have to remember any commands to use the computer. You can just click on tools or commands or its relevant buttons or icons on the screen to perform a task. Windows operating system is the most popular graphical user interface. Now we will learn about desktop. The students switch on the computer and wait for few seconds for Windows to boot. The process in which ROM sends instructions to the CPU to start operations is called booting. You will see the main screen of Windows. It is called Desktop. Icons The small pictures on the desktop are called icons. Different computers may have a different set of icons on the desktop. Each icon represents a program in Windows. The name of that program is written under the icon. Taskbar Dear students, the horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop is called Taskbar. On the left hand side of the taskbar is the start button. Most programs in Windows can be started by clicking on the start button. When you click on the start button, you will see a pop-up menu that contains various programs in Windows. On the right hand side of the taskbar is the notification area. It displays the battery level of the computer, volume, etc. To the extreme right of the notification area is the clock and date. So my dear students, in this video we have learned about operating system, 
user interface and desktop. So watch the video carefully to understand the lesson.